In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to do some sampling of a large data set in GeoGebra, and actually does it quite well, although there are some problems which we should check out. You can see that I've copied some data. In fact, it's the engine capacity and metric uh, combined uh, fuel usage from the car data set into GeoGebra. Just got two columns, but there's a lot of it all the way down to like 4,449 bits of data. Um, just like before, I could turn this into a scatter graph, which I'm going to do very quickly by just selecting the two columns, clicking on two variable regression analysis, and I get to use the headers and titles. This is exactly as we discussed in a scatter graph thing. And if I copy this to a graphics view, without doing any other messing around, you can see that all those points are on the screen. Uh, forget about the visuals for now. What crucially it's done is made a list of the data. So there's this list, and the curly braces there indicate a list of coordinates. Um, but this is meant to be a video about sampling, so we're going to uh, take a sample of this. Instead of having 4,000 odd bits of data, let's say only on 20, it turns out there's a very easy way to do this in Jojira, uh, which is to type the word sample, and it's, it's guessing that I want to do something to do with sampling. Um, and there are some useful things here. So first of all, the command there says I could give it a list and the size. So I could just type in list 1 in a minute and tell it to give me a sample of 10. But crucially, and more usefully, I could also tell it to do some replacement or not. So the issue with Excel is if you use the uh, version that I did in a previous video, you may end up getting the same bit of data twice. I could tell GeoGebra to avoid that problem. So I'm going to do it on this example. Press return to choose that function. I'm going to call the list list1, or rather it called it list1, and that's the list of all the data. I'm going to press tab to get to the next bit of the function, which is the size of my sample. Let's say I only want 10 points and I'm going to ask it not to replace one. If I take a sample out or one piece from the, for that sample, I don't put it back in when I choose the next one. So I'm going to say false for the replacement there. Uh, and then that should be the end of my formula. So if I just press return at the end, uh, what has happened is it's actually chosen a sample. If I hide the original list of all the points by just clicking that button, you can see I've got 10 points on there and they are a random sample from the list. And if I did this again, if I just press up, it'll choose to do the same thing and I'll create a new random sample press return to get this one. And there it. So I've got the first random sample I made. If I hide that and show you the second random sample, you can see it's a different random sample. And every time you type this command in, you should get a new random sample of however many you want. And there's a third one. It's dead easy in GeoGebra, but it's harder to get that data into a list, which is maybe what you need to use Excel for.